Another important factor that determines how the current NGNs are shaped up are the end users. We are interested in determining what kinds of end users exist, what type of information content or the services do they access, their subscription models, and what effect does it make on the overall delivery of the services on NGN platforms. We define the end users as people like me or you who are interested in having services from the underlying infrastructure. These services are audio, video, data of any kind. Broadly speaking, all these users, since we are talking in the context of NGN, need access to the broadband internet connection, that is, a couple of megabits per second. Let's start with the enterprise or the corporate customer first. These customers are the, of course, the special valued customers, which have to be provided statically bounded internet speed, which is they can't be given internet which varies in performance temporally and spatially. That's the first thing. The second thing is that usually the internet speed provided to the corporate sector is far more than the internet speed which is provided to the individual users. Although the corporate customers spell out their requirements, which are usually quite static, but over time the requirements also vary and sometimes the requirements change suddenly. We call that dynamic business requirements. These dynamic business needs are catered for using infrastructure such as cloud and virtualization. An important aspect of these end users is that these users, which are corporate in nature, are not interested in the micromanagement of the quality of service by the internet service provider. They usually have their own infrastructure in, in their own corporate premises as in servers, applications, which handle the, inf the data speed, which we call it the pipe size provided to them by the service provider. In the telecom world, these corporate customers are provided speeds or I would say resources in the form of fixed multiplexing hierarchy over transport networks, for instance, the plea synchronous digital hierarchy and the synchronous digital hierarchy or sonnet, the synchronous optical networks. So that is the telco perspective in which the corporate customers are provided these services. If these users or corporate customers are coming from the IP network and they need resources in the IP, so dedicated virtual circuits are kind of behavior is provided to them using something called the virtual private network. These VPNs cater for the requirements of audio, video, and data in a secure manner to these corporate customers. The other kind of customers are individuals like myself and you. We are also interested in content like audio, video, and data. We are also excited and actually try to look for the broadband connectivity. At the same time, there is something that we are eager to use. That is, in order to avoid payment of billing to three different service providers, as in voice, video, and data, we are in interested in a service provider that provides us the triple play services. Now, users like us actually are very much concerned about the end user license agreement or the transparency. For instance, if I am paying for the call which is voice over IP based, then I should not be getting my calls routed inbound or outbound through PSTN or vice versa. It means a clarity is always required by the end user who is more interested in doing the micromanagement of the services that he or she is getting. So we conclude that for end users, which have a very important role into shaping the next generation networks of today, the first one is that these users, which are both corporate and individual, do a lot of cross-border switching. That means 
at one point in time, the CEO of an organization is trying to access the internet from the corporate premises, while in the other half of the day, he is trying to do the same sitting in his residence. So it means the NGNs have to cater for different roles which should be provided to these services so that a consistent view is given to the customers who are either individual or corporate. A common and most obvious requirement of all is that whatever is accessed on these networks should be secure. It means the underlying infrastructure or any weakness or inherent flaw in these underlying networks should not be detrimental to the security, secrecy and confidentiality of the user, the content he or she is sharing over the internet and the uh, uh, importance and truth or the, I would say the information liveliness of the content. And lastly, for all these users, availability is a very important concern because for corporate customers, although the offices are operational mostly in the daytime, but their servers are operational at night as well as the day. Likewise, for individual customers, the requirement for availability is again quite spontaneous. So having NGN that caters for all these diverse requirements is, is not going to be as simple as it initially was when individual customers were treated without the realization of a common unified platform.